Welcome to Rocket Regional. I'm Charles Rourke in one of my favorite little towns in our coverage area. I so love Regional. I've got Jeff Goska with us. Now tell me your big title here in Regional. Economic Development Director. Oh, that's so awesome. And we, I tell you what, you're going to learn some numbers today about Regional that you probably have never heard about. I'm so excited to be here with Jeff. And one of the things we're going to talk about, first of all, is construction investment. Now for most people, what is that? Well, you know, you're looking at, at um, construction of new buildings, mm -hmm. renovation of existing buildings, and then machinery and equipment for industry that it becomes installed. And you, you package that all together, and that's really what, what boosts our tax base. Right. And we got some impressive numbers. We Cause, do. Because most people think we're quiet and sleepy, but we haven't been quiet and sleepy, have no, we? No, we've had over a million dollars just in industry mm -hmm. investment in mm -hmm. the last four years. Right. Right. That's a huge number for a small town. Right. Now, we got COVID, but you say COVID might not be so bad for us because it's got that money rate so down, money has almost cost nothing. Yeah. So, you know, obviously it's affected a lot of our retail and restaurant, and that's, mm -hmm. that's the unfortunate side right. effect of the pandemic and, and not unique to Reedsville, of course. Um, but from the industrial recruitment side, um, from even some of the other retail and commercial side and, and, and residential as well, um, you know, you, as you mentioned, money is very cheap right now. Mm -hmm. and so developers who are looking at opportunities um, may not do something at 6% interest, but 3.5%. Mm -hmm. Suddenly their numbers make a lot more sense. Well, one thing I do know, working with some of the staffing agencies around here, people are you know, having a little tough time getting, getting people hired. So it, it seems like the most people that want to work are working right now. It, it is. You know, we've got 15% or so unemployment. Mm -hmm. um, we, we've got some local industries that are growing. Yeah. Um, and they've had job fairs and are hiring by the dozens. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you, you know, we have an available work. One, you know, one of the, I guess, silver linings of some shutdowns, obviously, is that suddenly your work for, available workforce grows, and mm -hmm. that's what companies look for. You know, right. when you have 4% unemployment, that's great, but that's less workers to, to, to fill these expansion jobs. All right, here's the question everybody wants to know. Do we have some prospects? I know we can always talk about them, but do we have some things brewing? We sure do. Okay. Uh, Tease got, me. Oh, well, gosh. We've got an international company that's uh, that, that we're a finalist site for. Mm -hmm. um, really? We, yes. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, we've had a, a tremendous amount of, of foreign direct investment from all over the world. A company is here that are owned internationally. And this would be one more uh, notch in the belt for us as far as that goes. And uh, you know, anytime you get international investment, and North Carolina has always been a good destination for foreign investment, you know, the, the location, access to ports, and the state of North Carolina has has representatives, you know, economic development people all over the world, mm -hmm. and they market very heavily to you know these international companies, and it's been very successful over the years. Albod's a great example. We had a uh, one of the old NC Commerce developers um, used to spend a lot of time in Israel, mm -hmm. build a relationship, and lo and behold, they're one of our biggest companies. Right, and we're in the middle of the East Coast, and people think, well, that that is that means we can reach just about two thirds of the nation, and within, a, with, within one day's drive. That's, that's right. Exactly right. And in the air, we can get there in an hour or two. Exactly right. So we're in a prime location, yep. FedEx Hub in Greensboro. We got Virginia this way. So we can take advantage of this location, can we? We can, and then the upgrade of you know US 29 to, to I-785. Right. People, you know, the average person doesn't understand the importance of that. When you're looking at industrial uh, and, and retail commercial recruitment, mm -hmm. um, to be near or on that blue shield, I don't care how great 29 is or yep. 220 or what have you, right. until you get a blue shield, you're, you're not even in the search parameters for, for a lot of companies that say, well, we need to be within a mile of an interstate. Well, we don't have an interstate yet. Once mm -hmm. we do, suddenly we're in that game. Right. All right, so I'm going to ask you a big question. Within the next uh, next year, do you expect several announcements? We do, and I yeah. would say within the next month we'll have hopefully have one or You're two. You're kidding. So, wow. And, and that encompasses yes. you know, <laughs> the residential market. We've got some things going. A um, couple of industrial recruitment projects we've got going, and downtown is going to have a huge boost very soon. Oh, what a tease. That will lead us into my next segment. <laughs>